Okay, you guys, I'm at this dumpster, and I've actually been going through it for a while. If you can see, they have these, um, I think this was a display or something they had in their store. It's really heavy, so I couldn't, like, film at the same time. But so far, I have found stuff in that box. I'm not sure if there's anything else in here. Like I said, it's kind of hard to go through because they have this really heavy display. But there's a bunch of pans in there. And then I found a bag at another store which I haven't went through yet which is right here I also got these blankets out of there that I wanted to film just for a minute while we was here at the dumpster oh and then there's another blanket that I pulled out right here and then this really made me mad they completely destroyed this bench as you see I mean these could always get recovered but they like broke it on this side so there's really no way to be able to fix that and I think the I don't even know it looks like it had doors that went on the front of here and um yeah I don't even know I haven't even seen those in here I think we could probably do something with it but they destroyed that a lot so I'm gonna look through here just a little bit more because I know you guys like to see when I'm actually at the dumpster but it's starting to get a little messy too Let's see if I can find anything else and then I'll show you what's in that box like I said it's not a lot it's mostly just pans and a few pairs of shoes and then that other bag when I get back to my house. Okay, so I am back home now, and this is all the stuff that I found on this dumpster dive trip. It is from a couple different stores. Of course, Lily has to get in the video because my animals always do this. But stuff in this box is from two, I'm trying to think, one, two, I think three different stores. This is from one of the stores in here. This is from a separate store. And then that bag that we have to go through is from even a different store. So we'll start up here really quick. These are the blankets um, that I said I pulled out from that dumpster. This is what one of them looks like. Actually, I have two. I found two of these. And these still have like the tags and everything on them. That was the price. Of course, this is a winter blanket. So... This will get put up until next year, and then I'll bring it out probably in the beginning of December and put it on my couch. But like I said, I got two, so one of them is going to go to my mom, and then I'll keep the other one. And then I got an IU Hoosiers blanket, and this one is a Purdue blanket, and I'll lay those out so you can see what they look like. So here is the first blanket laid out, and it's one of those... Um, plush type blankets that's really soft and this is extremely soft now I'm not an IU fan but I probably will just leave this in our closet um, in case we have a guest or you know something happens in the middle of the night or if someone just to wants wants to cover up we'll have an extra blanket and this is what the second blanket looks like like I said it's a Butler University Bulldogs and it's the same kind of blanket. It's that really soft material. And again, I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'll just put this in one of our closets to keep as an extra blanket. Now, the next thing I found is one of these bamboo pillows. And you guys have seen these in my previous videos. Actually, once I left some behind and everyone pointed them out, but then I had found some since then. And then this one was in there. And I'm going to show you what they did to it because this store is notorious for using red spray paint on their stuff. But the reason I went ahead and brought it home, if you can see on the end, these pillows have a zipper and you can remove this top pillowcase. I got it open so you can just remove the top pillowcase and pull the bamboo pillow out and just put a regular pillowcase on it. So that's what I'm going to do and that's the reason I brought it home because I love these. Now the next item I just left in this box because the lid, there's nothing wrong with it, like it's not cracked or anything, but the lid was unscrewed a little bit. And I have found so many bottles of shampoo, conditioner, 
body lotion, all kinds of stuff for your hair that this store throws out because the lids come a little loose and they start leaking out. I guess they just don't want to wipe it off, but it's completely full and it's hemp body butter that's lavender. So yeah, you can see there where the lid just unscrewed a little bit and it started coming out, but that's what you see is all that's leaked out. So it's a completely full bottle and it smells really good. So I found that. Now in this box, there's not a whole lot because it's mostly the pans I was telling you guys that I found, but I did find these pink headphones and they work because I already tried them out. And then I found this in a Sally's dumpster and I've seen these in the store and I'm not sure why they threw it out. It's a shimmer puff. So you kind of just like puff it on and, um, I thought you could see on the bottom, see that little brown? It's like a bronzer, like glitter type thing that comes off. I think it's kind of like a knockoff of the Rihanna one. And I've been wanting one of the Rihanna ones, but I'm going to see if I like this one first because I really do want one. But I'll try this one first. So I found that. Um, then I found this yellow Adidas shirt. Just a yellow Adidas t-shirt and then I found the shorts which I don't think they're a name brand or anything oh oh they're Adidas shorts I didn't even know that right here Adidas shorts yeah I guess I didn't even notice that so that's could actually kind of be like an outfit especially if you had some tennis shoes with yellow in it so I found this Adidas outfit and then I found two of these um, curtains, willow curtains. It's got this kind of design from that one. And I found this one, and I'm surprised they did not open them and spray paint on them, but they didn't. But that's how they look, and I like them. Probably use these in my kitchen. And then I found a pair of these flip flops. And then I also found what I have on my feet. Let me show you that found this pair of therapeutic, um, I don't know if they're supposed to be like flip-flops you can actually wear or um, just slippers, but I've been wearing them kind of like a slippers to the house and they're really, really comfortable. And then I found an all black pair that is men's that fit my son also, but he has those on upstairs and I'm not going to make him take them off, but I found these and I found the black men's pair. And then I found um, this finishing touch flawless body hair remover. It says removes hair instantly and pain-free underarms, bikini, and legs. Great for sensitive areas. Rechargeable. Oh, so it charges. And I can see the charger and everything is still in there. It almost just kind of looks like a razor. So I'm not really sure. It is kind of looks, maybe it's just like a little electric razor or something. I'm not sure, but I found this. See, it's still in the box. Um, this is, it says, oh, wait, it said attention, attention, because there were tension rods in there, and that's not what this is. It's a, uh, of course, a Turby Twist Band, which I'm not even sure what that is. I think I'm going to have to look it up online. And these are the pots and stuff that I found in here. Oh, I found this eyeshadow palette, too, which you can see, like, um, only two of them this one and this one is a little damaged but the rest of them are good and i like these colors so i went ahead and pulled that out and then like i said the rest are of in this box is pots and pans and you can see they spray painted on them but there's actually two more to this set so this one this one this bigger one this pan and there's another pan and a skillet that i got and um, this spray paint comes off like really, see how easily that comes off? And I already removed it from the other two and I've cooked in them and everything. So they are perfectly fine and they are Rachel Ray. So it's a Rachel Ray set. But yeah, the spray paint, everything, it comes off so extremely easy. So if you see pans or skillets or anything in a dumpster and they just spray paint on them, just pull them out because like, see, I just use like a sponge from the Dollar Tree in my dish soap and they came, everything came right out of the pan. So this is a really good set. And then I found this set of lanterns. This one's really tall. I'm not sure if you can tell how tall, but here's the smaller one. And they're exactly the same. 
so it's a set of a big and a small lantern and they both have like the same little kind of door here on the front that's what they both look like and now to move down here i found this and i really really love this i think it's very pretty this is what the bottom of it looks like um they had i think they come in like a set of two or three because there was one in the dumpster that was broken this part and they're supposed to be lids now this one does have the lid missing but i don't care because i still really liked it a lot and thought it was real pretty so what i plan on doing is i think i'm going to put some kind of like fairy lights inside here and maybe have some flowers come out the top or you guys tell me what you think it might just be pretty with just lights inside but i really like to have something coming out the top since the lid is missing so if you guys can think of something else besides flowers let me know or any other idea that i could do with this and i don't want to put potpourri in it but anything else and now this bag is from a different store um i could see through it a little bit it looks like it might have a few things in it it might actually not be anything um i could see a few pairs of shoes but this store does destroy a lot of their stuff and then they will put it in a bag and i didn't want to stand there at the dumpster and go through all of it so i just grabbed the whole bag out I threw it in my car so let's open it up and see if there's anything in here we'll be able to keep got it open and I can see a few things in here that's probably broke or has some stuff missing but let's go through it and see um, I think this is pretty much just trash well it says Marvel art pad Okay, so you see it was a 30-piece art pad, and this is the only thing that's in there. So I will keep this for my, my youngest son. He'll like this. Then I'm just going to keep this to the side just in case maybe we might find some other stuff that goes in there. Um, that's pretty much an empty crayon box. I think it's something, but it's definitely not. What is in there? Just one purple crayon. So that's trash. We'll put that to the side. Here's some kind of phone case. And then the rubber part they destroyed, so that will go to the side. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it looks like a cover to an ottoman. So let's pull it out and see if they destroyed it. No, they did not destroy it. It's actually really cute. I don't have one of these chairs, and I don't even know anyone that does. But um, I guess I could keep it in case someone got one or I can ask around. But it says just chill. So this would be really cute for a girl's room. I'm not sure what else you could do with it. But there's nothing wrong with it at all. Um, trash. Let's see. What is this? Oh, this looks like um, maybe some kind of jewelry holder or something. I'm not sure. What does it say? Yeah, it's a jewelry tree. Oh, it says with mirror. So I guess it had a mirror on here and it does it now. But you could easily get a mirror from the Dollar Tree and put it on there. I actually have one of these mirrors from Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to show you guys, like, if you turn it to the side, it would actually be, a, I'm trying to do this one-handed, but it would actually be, like, a perfect fit on this thing if you just like glued it on or whatever you wanted to do right there and then or I guess you could put it on this side whatever side you want to use it on but that's a real yeah because you probably hang your jewelry on this side and then look at yourself in the mirror on this side so yeah just glue that on there okay I had to move up here to my couch because I had to plug my camera in here so it would charge or it's gonna die and let's see the next thing what is this Oh, it looks like, um, I don't even know what this is. But whatever it is, I don't, I think it was supposed to snap or something. I don't know. If you put credit cards in there, then what's this for? I have no idea. If you guys know what this is, let me know. Because I've never seen one that's got, maybe that's a phone. Maybe you can put your phone in there. Maybe that's what that is. Okay, that's kind of cute. Maybe it's a phone holder. I don't know. What do you guys know? Let me know. Now, if they did not damage these shoes, I'll be surprised. 
because I have found several pairs of shoes there and they always cut them or something. They usually cut them like here and I'm not seeing anything. They might have thrown them out because it's got just a tiny bit of blue glitter right there. Now these are not damaged at all. Now these are definitely not my size because they are a size 10. You see right there, a size 10. I think my sister's a size 10. She might want these. Yeah, size 10. But yeah, they're not damaged. So I'm glad that I actually found a pair that's not damaged. So I'll set that over there. Something that goes to a makeup palette. Trash. Oh, um, a little wrestling figure. This is Rowdy Rowdy Piper. I know who he is because I liked wrestling when I was really young. It looks like it might have glued onto something. So I know who he was because he was a popular fighter back when I was young. A piece to something. So trash. What is this? Oh, it's something for nails. Oh, okay, yeah, nails went in there. That looks like it was the glue, so I'll save that. Just use the nail glue. Um, a thing of sidewalk chalk. It says neon glitter and marble sidewalk chalk. So my son will like that. Some little squishy tomato thing that's got water in the inside. Cadbury egg. Let's see what this shirt is. Oh, it's a tiger shirt. Looks like it might have, it's supposed to be a half top, maybe. That's what it looks like. But it's the sequins. Or no, it's not. It's just, it's just shiny like that. So there's that shirt, and it's a medium. Pretty sure that's definitely supposed to be a half top, but it looks kind of big. It looks like another pair of shoes. I don't think these are destroyed either and they're another size 10 so that's two size 10 and these have a little bit of blue glitter on them also I still can't believe they didn't cut them or anything though so I might see if my uh, friend's daughter might want these I'm not sure what size she wears but um some kind of charger that they cut, so that's trash. This one's probably cut too. Let's see. Yep, that one's cut too, so that's trash. Something, some kind of egg that had, well, we're going to say a unicorn, but I don't see a horn. It looks like maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, maybe it's one of those that you put in water, and then that probably comes out. That's probably what it is, but trash. Um, a root beer, trash. It's probably one, oh, headphones, but I don't even see those in here. Trash. Trash. And here's another pair of shoes. Now, these do have the glitter. And these are a size 8. I actually wear a 7. So these would probably be too big for me. But I wonder if you could get, maybe get that off if you washed them. I don't know. Because it's probably glue, I would think. Or it might be, I was thinking, it might be fingernail polish, but it doesn't smell that way. So I'm not sure what that is. I'll put these to the side and wash them. Just to see. Oh, look. A little, some kind of motion controlled steering. Oh, it's a car. And I guess you use the steering wheel to steer it. And it is in there. As you guys can see. So I'll let my son try that out tomorrow. See if he wants it. It looks like that's pretty much it. Except for whatever this is. Let's see. It looks... Like, um, it could be a sundress, I guess, or a bathing suit cover-up. Mm, doesn't say exactly what it is, but I used to have a pink one that I used to wear over my bathing suit when I went swimming. But this is what it looks like. So this is actually a pretty good find for the store, because like I said, they usually destroy all their stuff. And there's several things in this bag that was not destroyed, and the bag was kind of like 
right on top of the dumpster. So that concludes this dumpster dive haul. Let's see, there's something in this bag. What is this? Whatever it is, it's leaking. Oh, it was a glitter frame. That's cute, though. I think it said something. I can't tell. But anyways, trash, because it's leaking. So that concludes this dumpster dive haul. I'm going to go back out again tomorrow if it doesn't rain. The forecast is calling for rain. So if it doesn't, I'll go out. So look for a new video coming really soon. And like always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.